I'm attending school this fall for a second graduate degree, so I need supplies. I haven't been in school for almost three years now, so I had to stock up a little more on some things than I normally would, but let's just see what I got. Let's get started, shall we? The very first and most important thing I purchased was my planner. This is the Erin Condren Life Planner in Rose Gold. This is going to be life. <laughs> I purchased a 16 gigabyte flash drive from Best Buy because you always need that for papers and things like that. And I also bought an extra large black ink cartridge for my printer so that I don't have to go to the university to print. And this is a document holder. Um, I like to take my papers or any paper that I have to turn in, I like to put it in the document holder and that way I know I have it for one and two, it doesn't get messed up before I get to class. So I have a document holder that came from Walmart. And then I have this um, accordion style organizer. Got it from the dollar spot at Target. Gotta love the dollar spot at Target, right? It's cheap, it feels cheap. But whatever, <laughs> I'm actually just using it to hold um, important documents like um, things from orientation, things that I need throughout to, to keep throughout my entire time in graduate school this time, I'm keeping in this accordion organizer. Then, in the same vein of folders, I purchased four lovely folders because I have to take four classes a semester for my um, degree. They're all from Target. My best friend chose them. <laughs> but um, this is the first one. I love this one. And then I chose these. These are awesome and so pretty. I love this. Like Target does this in several different things. Like this fox motif. And it's always so pretty and cool. And I really love it. And they only had three different designs, which is why I purchased the balloon, balloon one. I'll be holding the papers that I get in this as well as, you know, anything along like a syllabus, thing like that, that will all go in a folder. These are paper folders, so I don't know how long they're going to last, but I like them and that's what matters. <laughs> and then I also purchased a notebook for each class because I'm going to need one. Um, this is a, these are all five star college ruled notebooks. I purchased these from Walmart because it's just much cheaper to get these from Walmart. Um, but I got one for each class, and I will not be taking these to class. I'll um, take these notebooks to class. These are actually for notes from all of my books, from, for papers, anything outside of class. Um, you may say to yourself, well, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, in graduate school, you write so much. Each class has several books. Um, one of my classes has five books, another one has six books, and I need to keep track of everything. Um, and it's easier to do that in a notebook, and I have been known to use a complete notebook. So I have one for each class. And then for in-class notes, I have a steno pad. I, I purchased two, but um, I'll probably only use one. Maybe this semester, it just depends. Um, but I keep all my notes in here. I'll just, I'll do an organization video just to show you later, but for class, I just take a steno pad and take notes for each class in steno pad. And if I need a second one in the semester, I went ahead and just purchased one and I purchased these from Target. <laughs> That's all my notebooks. Now, let me just say, I'm a stationary geek. I love stationary. And so I may have gone a little overboard with this next stuff, but whatever. Okay, <laughs> so I purchased some Sharpie, fine tip Sharpies. Didn't really need these, but I'll use them. It's not like I don't have any, I do. But I will use them, so I purchased some fine tip Sharpies. I purchased highlighters, of course, because I highlight and so much stuff. Um, I highlight my notes, I highlight in books sometimes, it depends on the book. Um, but highlighters, multiple color for various things, and then I use the yellow color the most, or the highlighter yellow color the most. Some people call it green, whatever. So I got several of these, but highlighters, and I like these kind, um, the Sharpie highlighters. I like these, the thin ones, these are great. My favorite pins are the Pilot Profile pins. So I actually purchased these in blue and black. I don't know where the blue ones are at the moment. <laughs> but I purchased the Pilot Profile pins. These are my favorite pins to write notes with in class. They're really cheap. Um, oh, by the way, I got these Sharpies from Walmart. I got these 
from Office Depot. Um, and I also got them in black and I also purchased those from Office Depot as well. I won't use pencils for notes, but I do use them if I need to jot down a note in on a sticky or in my planner or something like that. So I purchased some of my favorite erasers because I don't have any more. If you notice, I don't have any pencils because I already have pencils, so I didn't need to purchase any, but I did need to get some erasers. And these are my favorite. These are the Pentel High Polymer Erasers. They're, they're beautiful, they're wonderful. They erase everything and don't leave marks. Like that's what you want, right? This is the Nate Berkus pencil pouch from Target. I just love the design of this pencil pouch. I have a pencil pouch, but I love the design of this one. The sticky note extravaganza. <laughs> okay, don't, don't, you know, don't clown me. <laughs> I love sticky notes. I do. I use them for so much. So I purchased these, two packs of these. These are acorns from Target. And I, they were also at Walmart, I saw, and they were a little cheaper. But aren't these cute? I'll be using these in my planner and probably on my notes too. I love them. Um, you can never have enough page flags. So I bought page flags. These, I got this from Walmart. I also saw them in Target, but they were like four bucks. And in Walmart, they were one dollar. So go to Walmart. <laughs> um, but I use these a lot in my books, in my notes to mark things, but mostly in my books. So I um, got some more of those. And more page flags. Like I said, I'm a little crazy. And I got some page markers. I don't know if you can see these. I probably have to open them. Um, I'll put them up close so maybe you can see. These came from Target. I just thought they were really cute. <laughs> I really like them. They're little foxes. And I'm like all about that fox motif. So hold on. I'm going to open them so you can see. They look like this. They're so cute. I love them. They're so adorable. I have an issue. I know. But I will use these stickies. I will. I promise. <laughs> and then I got an assortment of stickies, different sizes. Um, that's usually helpful to have different sizes. I usually find it helpful. Just I'll do an organization, organization video, like I said, but different size stickies. An arrow sticky. This is more like for my planner and stuff, not necessarily for my notes, but I have a sticky issue, like I said. And also, sticky notes from the dollar spot, just because I thought they were cute. These are probably ones I also use in my planner. They're not necessarily a school supply purchase, more like I just have a sticky note issue. <laughs> and then, these are the sticky notes I'm going to use in class. Like, I really like these. They say, on test, study, and to do. And when in class, you know, your professor will say something like, this will be on an exam, or you really should, um, this is an interesting idea, or you should look into this. And these are perfect for when you're writing in your notes, you can just stick one of these on that note, and it's just, these are perfect. So I'm taking these to class. And that's all of my sticky notes. I went to TJ Maxx to get a couple of organization things. Um, I got this big organizing tote. Um, in my study room, my woman cave. I'm gonna keep my notebooks and um, folders and things in here. I'll probably keep some of the books in here too. There are two of them. But um, this will come in really handy. It's probably like $9. And then I needed some kind of school tote. Um, I'm a tote person. I usually carry a tote to class. Um, it just looks a bit more professional too as far as graduate school goes. So I went and purchased this beautiful, beautiful tote from TJ Maxx. Let me move the price. Um, it's a BCBG Paris tote. I freaking love it. I think it's so cute and it's gonna hold everything really well. And then when I purchased it, I didn't know, but it has another bag inside, um, which this is like the size of a crossbody or some kind of purse so that's awesome I might use it for that purpose it has one pocket plus it has um, this little pouch here that I can keep my ID and just uh, my student ID and things like that in there that is all of my school supplies this is the beginning of my back to school series I am going to do a couple of videos I'm definitely going to do a video on uh, my planner organization and school organization in general. I'm going to do a video on applying to grad school and thriving in grad school. 
So, write your questions below, especially about school, and I will, of course, answer them in the videos to come. I hope you like this haul, because I love school supplies, I love stationery, that's probably one of the things I've been most excited to get. <laughs> so, until the next video, check out my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, the blog. Thanks for watching. Bye! I get back on Monday from Vegas, so I'm going to film, and I'm going to put it up here. Um...